Hello, property enthusiasts, DIYers, renovators, contractors, and everything in between. Through this channel, with the permission of our wonderful clients, we will share content on the properties we are renovating, showing you around the projects, sharing building knowledge, tools and equipment reviews and recommendations, real unscripted, no holds barred access to the world of renovating villas and apartments on the Cote Jour. I really look forward to sharing this journey with you all and if you want to help me get this show on the road, please subscribe below. Welcome, day one, exciting new project in Supercan, very prestigious area of the Cote du Jour. Unfortunately, the client bought this without seeing it fully and there's quite a lot of interior renovation work to do, a little bit more than they expected, but we're going to jazz it all up for them, so follow me. Follow moi. Oh, actually, problem number one. This. Mains water feed leak. What's been happening here is this pipe here, old copper one, has been leaking into the slab. And this leak has traveled along the slab and all the way along the building. We'll show you a room which is further down the corridor on the lower ground that has been affected by that leak. Down. Bit of down there. Come on, next room. Right, problem number two. This room is absolutely saturated. And that's because of two things. This wall, which backs up onto the pool room wall, and there's no DPM in between. So the pool room, which contains huge pumps like this, and lots and lots of pipe work, has been dripping. The water's been getting into this wall. Travelling through. This one, I opened this up the other day. Up here is a drainage pipe from the upper terrace, which is leaking, and has been leaking for a number of years, it looks like. And the water has been gathering here, moving along the slab, and coming up the walls. So all of these, all of these walls are coming out, and this. And this. Floors throughout the entire property are coming up. Wood and water don't generally mix. All this is coming out. We have a sauna. The sauna is going out. As you see, Demo had, is well underway. Jan has already started ripping it out. There he is. <laughs> Bonjour, Jan. Ça va? Bonjour, ça va? So you can see, look, the problem with the pipes on the opposite side of that wall in the shower have caused all of this. So the water's travelled in the flat, broke up this, taken all this, it's travelled all the way down here. We've got weak points here, look. We've got a liquid applied leveling compound which has failed all the way along so we'll have to strip this up as well. This wall, I didn't actually do this during a test hole, it was rotting. So the entire wall moves and isn't really supported by the base and that's because of the water damage. This wall also has two problems. So on up there 
is another drainage pipe from the terrace which has been leaking into this area here, into the void. So this wall's had this problem and this problem. So we're removing this, removing that. This is staying because it's solid. We've got a specialist pipe tester coming on Thursday who's going to test the whole system, the drainage and the uh, mains water feed, the outdoor sprinklers, everything to see if, if there are any further leaks. In here, bathroom, gone. Simple, out. Walls are out as well. They're going to slightly change the layout of this place. So this has got to come out, all this, look, I bet we wish all wallpaper would come off like that, eh? That's how wet that is. Nice. If you follow me downstairs, I will show you more problems. The floor. That's from wet expansion. The speed bump. All this, unfortunately, another problem was that the window must have been leaking at some point and water coming down here because all this is damp and if you look outside you can see a kind of temporary putty repair on the opposite side of the window so I need to revisit right down to the lower ground we'll start down here where the, the problem is surfaced Anyway, bedroom, 
This is a uh, walk-in wardrobe, and this here is a ensuite. No Any, shower, um, weirdly. Oh yeah. No shower. Any problems in here? Don't worry. Um, right. So throughout this property, it seems that because it's not been used for two years, so the VMC system won't have been switched on. If you don't know what that is, it's just a like a fan that creates airflow, especially in damp spaces such as toilets, things like that. And if you don't switch it on and you have your shutters down, the damp stays in the property and that's what's happened here. It's not actually a leak or anything like that, it's just standard damp. There is a problem here that we need to investigate further. So we'll probably we'll chip this out and we'll chip this part out here and see if you've got water coming down from the terrace. It seems that the terrace the drains have been blocked. So what's happened is water's pulled on the terrace and then got down into the walls. I think that's it for problems on the inside. So obviously on the outside you've got the terraces that we were just talking about. Can we have a quick look at the outside? Yeah, let's take you outside. As you can see on the terrace there's just so many like things like this. Oh yeah. You know, like and all these drains, full, absolutely full vegetation and muck. So they all need cleaning out because it's an accident waiting to happen. If you remember, if you remember from the inside on the staircase, I said the window was leaking. Well, this is why. It's just had terrible repairs on it. A bit of putty around the edge. I mean, look at that. This is an expensive villa. Who would come and do that? What we're going to do up here is we're going to fix the drainage problems and then we're going to check everything out on the terrace. We need to check to see if it's got a tanking system underneath. And all these drains. None of them seem to be working. And then look, you've got this problem here. And they've obviously used the wrong type of metal. Shouldn't do that. So we need to look into maybe pulling this back and putting a proper trim on there. Come. Oh. Up the stairs. More drainage problems here, I think. Stairs are terrible. I think we're uh, if we're replacing any of the terraces, it's going to be this entire staircase because one, I don't think it's been tanked. Two, the drains are all messy and everything's basically just chipped and falling apart. And it's such a, a nice entrance down into this property. I think it needs to look immaculate. Right, welcome back. We're back at our project in Supercan. It's time to give you a little update to see where we're at. Come on in. Since the last time you joined us, our design team have been in, done all the measurements, produced a new set of drawings. They've been approved by the client and we have completed the demolition, the remodeling work, and started building all the new walls. The ceiling framework's going in. Come in, I'll show you around and you can see what we've been up to. First space, this is actually one of the guest bedrooms. As you can see, we've removed all the walls in this area. I don't know if you remember from last time, but there was a huge problem with damp along this wall. So the entire wall moves and isn't really supported by the base. And that's because of the water damage. This wall also has two problems. So on, up there is another drainage pipe from the terrace, which has been leaking into this area here, into the void. So this wall's had this problem and this problem. So we're removing this, removing that. This is stained because it's solid. We've now 
fully uncovered it and it's due to pipe work basically this is for the toilet upstairs and wherever someone has gone through the slab they've obviously not waterproofed it correctly from the opposite side so unfortunately we're going to have to take all the tiles up from outside and redo the drainage properly make sure these are closed So right now, you stood in the guest bedroom, there's going to be a sliding door on here and you will step into the ensuite area. We've got a shower, an Italian shower, so obviously a walk-in shower there, and a vanity and a toilet, or a vanity there, sorry, and a toilet back here. So the soil stack will go this way, a brand new soil stack will go this way and connect that way because we've got a toilet that backs onto there, a toilet that backs onto here. And then on the opposite side of the wall is another guest bathroom or WC where the toilet backs onto there. So the natural way for the soil stack is to go down there and into the existing soil stack, which is just in there. Okay, this is obviously going to be a solid wall, but we'll walk through it for now. We've got the other toilet there, a little hand basin there. Here is going to be a large vanity double sink because this we're now in the master ensuite which as you can see is rather grand it starts there in the toilet and it goes all the way to that back wall there huge you might remember from the last video this was a partition wall that's now been removed we block this up because through here is a new walk-in wardrobe and dressing area this will have double doors built-in cupboards all the way around we started working on the suspended ceilings. Okay, back into the master ensuite. Very dark in here, but you may remember we had quite a bad leak, and I'll just put my phone light on. If you look there, that's the culprit. Still leaking. It's from the upper terrace. Whoever's put this cable in has obviously not bothered whatsoever to waterproof. So we'll have to take out from above this, which is on the staircase, and damp proof it all. We could probably get rid of this cable now, actually. I'll get the electrician to test it. Oh, I don't know if I explained in the last video, but on the opposite side of this wall is the pull room. Did I explain that? Well anyway, the pool guy's been serviced all the equipment, serviced the pool room, there's no leaks in there anymore, and you've got a nice cavity now for a little bit of airflow between these walls. Where you're standing now, or where we're standing now, there's going to be a nice big freestanding bath here with uh, gorgeous taps that will come out above there, gold they've gone for in this property, everything's white and gold, cream and gold, whatever I think. Um, and then this is going to be a big uh, shower, like a double shower. And then along this wall, cupboards, towel cupboards. Follow me. Back through the master dressing room. These are new, obviously. Straight through the solid wall there. That's another wall blocked up. And this is now, you're now standing in the master bedroom. Sorry about the noise, everyone. It's, um, it's a busy work site. We've got the guys working downstairs. Hope that doesn't bother you too much. So, Currently, on this floor, we have completed our framework 
for the drywall and the ceilings and next it's the turn of the electrician and the plumber to come in and do their first fix. The, the plumber doesn't have too much to do, there's not been that much moved around. He's got a new soil stack to put in as I pointed out earlier but other than that he has feeds for everything else. As for the electrician, it's basically a full rewire on this floor because we've gone through so many cables, stripping out the walls, stripping out the ceilings and the layout of all the switches and sockets has changed. We're also adding a speaker system in here and in the lounge area so that it can hook up to a wireless speaker system like Bose or something like that. Um, what else are we doing on this floor? We are adding internet points because in the house they only have one LAN point so we'll be putting an extra one in here, extra one downstairs, extra one upstairs so that they don't lose the range. Um, what other things for the electrician? Oh, the, the other things for the electrician, the lighting is changed quite drastically. The designers decided to give it the grand effect that we're hoping for at the end of this to install floor spots everywhere. We're going to have to chase uh, spots into this ceiling. It is a concrete ceiling so we're going to have to put a load of uh, chasers into that. We've got spots in all the wardrobes so that when you open them you've got automatic lighting, that sort of thing. Lighting really does have a huge effect on the feel of a property, the ambience, everything. It, lighting for me is everything. We're adding a big VMC system to this property as well because in the past they've had a lot of mould issues down to incorrect airflow. We're going to add a single unit on the ceiling and have it so it pumps from all the damp areas, especially that one, the one where all the issues were before, in the master bathroom, sorry. <coughs> Follow me downstairs, we'll take a look, see what the guys are up to and we'll give you an update on where we are with that. Ah, actually, scrap that, I'll show you the guest bathroom first. So previously you used to walk in from the entrance and into there, but the designers didn't like that layout. So the question we put a large opening in here. In there is going to be a vanity. This was blocked up. And then in this area is just the guest WC. So where I was talking about earlier with regards to the soil stack, the toilet is going there, which backs onto the other two, so it all naturally goes one way. Okay, now you can follow me downstairs. Before we head off downstairs, let me just give you a quick update on the staircase. You might remember from the last video, I spoke about water coming in from the opposite side of the window through the old putty repair. Well, it rained quite heavily last week and the amount of water that ingresses through that is quite heavy. So we're going to have to strip off all the tiles from the outside and re-waterproof that to avoid any water coming in. Another thing that we're doing on the staircase, this is definitely going to come off now and bring it into this century um, and we'll put in a nice curved handrail on there, all plasterboarded so that it kind of like, you know, goes in with the central column there. Only on this level. It follows round. Okay, downstairs. This is going to be taken back to here because I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the head height is not great at that point. I don't know why they're doing it like that. Maybe to match there, but. Even if we match it to the end of the door, it just gives you that little bit extra so that you can come down into it. And let's have a look in here. So, you're now on the lower ground floor. We have completed all the demolition here. There's no remodeling work going off down here. Everything is staying as is. 
So the tiles have come up, we're going to have to scrape all this old adhesive off. There was fitted wardrobes here, there's new fitted wardrobes going there. The bed is still going to be there. The layout is actually quite good on this floor. The things that we have done is this bathroom is changing round a little. So the toilet is going to go there and this is a walk-in Italian shower. And this is obviously not needed in a bathroom. So we're going to be blocking up this part of it here and changing this window. This is the old covered terrace slash gym. And well, we've not actually had a final design for this area just yet. So I can't give you too much of an update. But I'm pretty sure whatever we do will be fantastic. Bedroom number five. So this is a walk-in wardrobe area. Wardrobes will go all the way around there. And then into the ensuite, we've got a little toilet area there. And then another walk-in Italian shower there with a vanity, big mirror, Ready to come in out of your dressing room, dressing area, plenty of space, picture the seat. Okay? The boys are working in the utility, just currently framing the ceiling out, so we'll go and peek at that. Have a little peek, a little sneaky peek. Smelly in here. Yeah, so before they had a, suspend, a regular suspended ceiling in here, like an office ceiling, and now we're putting a, a solid, not a solid ceiling, but you know what I mean, a closed ceiling. Utility room, washer, dryer, all the shebang. In here, this will be the linen closet, you know, maybe, yeah. <laughs> not the most exciting room in the house. It is for me. <laughs> the last remaining bathroom from the previous owners. Not in bad shape, but fully renovated. All this is going to be renewed. This, this is staying as a shower. The vanity is moving from there to there. There's not going to be a bath. But other than that, everything else is staying the same. Into bedroom four. Finish the walls and the ceiling framework. Again, same as upstairs, I'm ready for the electrician to come in and the AC guy can do their job now. Once they've finished, we'll come back, board it all, tape and joint it, lick of paint, sockets on, job done. Flooring, don't forget. <laughs> oh, actually, so on flooring, they have decided to go for a timber floor everywhere other than the top floor, which is going to be ceramics and the bathrooms, which means now I'm going to have to damp test all the slabs, make sure we've got below our 75% RH, and if not, we're going to have to DPM all the floors before we can lay any timber, because otherwise, will take on the moisture, it'll swell, it'll fail in its joints, not what you want. Up to the top deck, we're going to have a look at the kitchen, give you a little update. We've not done a lot up there, because the guys are using it as a canteen. Update on the kitchen. In here, the lighting's all changing, it will no longer be these, we're going to have to change spots into the ceiling everywhere. I think these can go back to the 60s, where they belong. This bulkhead is, is going to change. That's going to be taken back as far as we can get it to accommodate these machines. And because the kitchen's obviously coming out. Now another thing that the designers decided was 
This space, which is the outdoor toilet, would be better used inside the kitchen because they're having a huge island in this kitchen. We're actually taking this out and then we're going to have a second entrance into the kitchen from the outside, which will be there, and then the main entrance, which is over there. In here, we're going to have LED floor lighting, so spots, just to give that extra ambience on a night time. You can imagine entertaining people in this space. Perfect. And look at that. So you've got spots on the ceiling, spots on the floor, opens out onto your fabulous terrace. Because the designers have decided to remove the toilet over there, we all still think it's a great idea to have a toilet on this level, so the people aren't coming in through the house, traipsing downstairs and then having to try and use the guest lift. So what we're going to do is, there's a couple of rooms here, used for pool storage. One of them is going to become a shower room and toilet. Just there. Perfect. I just want to have a look in here. I actually did a bit of work in here. One of the sources of the leaks we discovered was in this room right here. This secret little room. You see this? This it is quite common here where they'll have a tank on the back side of the house where the water runs that collects all the water from the mountain. And then what happens is they have a pump like this one that comes on automatically when it gets to a certain level. Now this pump had failed previously and this was full of water up to this point. So it was just slowly draining into the house. Not what you want. So we've taken this out, we've renewed all the DPM, retanked it all, so that when it does fill, if the pump fails, it's not going to slope, soak through this material, it gives you long enough to realise, but we've put a brand new pump on there, which comes on automatically. Now where this pumps out to is the terrace, and then it goes into the terrace drainage and then out of the house that way. We've got to put a live feed in because before it was plugged into an extension which ran to the house, which is not what you want. So now we need to put a constant live. Anyway, that was one of the problems. Fixed it. All the water from this bad boy running down the mountain into this tank. And then the pump pumps it out. Thanks for joining us on this episode. I hope you're getting as excited as I am to see this project progress. In the meantime, if you never want to miss an update, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one guys. Thank you.